Yo, what's going on, guys? Sakapoko here, bringing you another 7 Listens Green Cross video for this week for the news and talking about all the fun things that are going to be happening on the 6 2 update notice because they actually gave us all the patch notes on time in one freaking note. Pog. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, they didn't screw us over and uh, it looked like it at first, and then I scroll wheeled and it was like, oh my god. So, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and go over the patch notes and talk about them for the 6-2 update. So first up, we got the new heroes being added. We have the brand new SSR Earthshaker weapon, Researcher Valenti. Called it. And we have the Infinity Great Mage Merlin, of course, the Blue Merlin, great. And that's going to be the Eve of the 100 Day Celebration update event. And if you did not know, um, what I did do uh, as I added in in the YouTube section said, hey, there was an error that they had. There was They edited the patch notes last night, I believe. And they're like, yo, uh, actually, it's not... Oh, that's not the one. It's not actually the patch notes. It's the, uh, it's the part one of the celebration. They updated it late last night. So I didn't get a chance to, to do this because I put it out... At, they put it in after my video, but what are you going to do? Um, so it is a an Eve event or a part one of the part one event. So it's, it's coming. And then there's going to be a check-in event. We're able to receive 11 times draw tickets up for the Frozen Time Step Up event to commemorate 100 days with the Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. Um, the Frozen Time Step Up event is going to get the new... SSR hero, uh, great mage Merlin guaranteed. Collect enough loyalty points to get a Lo Leonis Princess Elizabeth and her tavern outfit. So is her tavern outfit the 100 day outfit, Netmarble? Net is that wh what's going on? Is that it? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay. Yep. 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 Called that. Called that too. Okay, go. Tavern theme changes. From period um, after 62 after maintenance until 623 after maintenance to be announced as a separate notice, there's going to be a period of the tavern will completely change and give you the 100 day celebration theme, giving you the walls, the the bar, cake, the tables, gifts, and the counter. So everything is going to look completely 100 day and you won't have to do anything. And that's a really, really nice feature as you're able to see everything and it looks pretty and you can decide if you want to buy those cosmetic upgrades just for the aesthetics or not so that's a really nice feature so thanks netmarble and now um on the netmarble page you can't see it on the side right now but they've added in all the 100 day stuff so that's cool i'm glad they did that okay if you uh if you change the decorations you will not be able to change them back to the 100 day anniversary theme so guys if you do change your your um your actual cosmetics in your tavern just know that those cosmetics in your tavern um uh, may uh May never come back because you didn't buy them. <laughs> so you, you lose them forever. Unless you buy them. You know? But you can always buy them during the event. So that's fine. Uh, the 100 day celebration furniture does not come with any special perks. However, the hot furniture with effects will come at a later time. Motherfu- If you don't give us. Wait, wait, wait. The walls, bar, cake, tables, gifts, and counter. Wait. Wait. Are, are we getting the 100 day demons? Are we not getting the 100 Dude. The three hour demons? Are we getting them? The furniture effects with effects will come at a later time. How? What? What do you mean they will come at a later time? Bruh. This is... What do you mean? I'm so confused. I am confusion. So I'm hoping that uh, this is... This is... This is, the, this is the best possible scenario of what's happening. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping. I don't actually know, but I, you know, sure. you know, just notice the alerts are covered in the chat. So let's move the chat. All right, moving on. We got the patrol system. Clear the, the chapter five, episode 45. The goat sin of lust joins up the, the battle button and you will find the new patrol event. Uh, this is the patrol event, as I mentioned before. What you do is you hit the dispatch button that's right here and the dispatch button will bring up a whole different menu. I don't know if they show it. They do, they kind of do. No, they don't. Um, you hit the dispatch button, and the dispatch button will then bring up another menu. It will ask you to put in characters in the dispatch window. You'll have to hit a certain combat class for those characters, and then once you do, you can then run them on a mission. And th those characters are still usable, so don't freak out. You can use them later. Um, you'll be able to obtain clear tickets, which are the skip tickets, if you're wondering, uh, cooking ingredients, awakening material, chests, and more. Heroes on patrol can still be used in other content. Okay, good. To, thank, thanks, that Marvel. Good, good. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> It's good that I said it, but it's even better that you said it, because that's what we really care about. Oh, we, also, we have the clear ticket system. The clear ticket system is going to have the Chapter 5 um, be available after Chapter 5, Episode 45, Goat Sin of Lust joins up in request, and you'll be able to use clear tickets. Chapter 5, Episode 45? 
Oh, that's the green Gother. Green Gother. Okay, I was, no. I was trying to figure out what it is. Um, can be used for boss battles, free stages, and full silver. So SP dungeon, any type of pre-raid stage or pre-death punch stage, and free stages. So that's good. Clear cakes can also consume the relevant stamina. That's good. Okay, so this is how they skip tickets look. Auto stage, auto clears ticket. Just, I don't know why they call, they call them skip tickets, but you know, whatever. Auto clear. We'll, we'll just call them. We know they're called skip tickets, but whatever. Moving on. Uh, forum and social net marble links. So if you ever wanted to get to the net marble links pair here, you can actually just click this button and it actually pulls them out. And there's like different Facebook pages, YouTube channel, all that stuff. So they're uh, they're advertising themselves in their own game. Even I don't know why they are, but they they are. But so that's cool. <laughs> so there's that. Um, the consecutive equipment draw and auto salvage. Uh, you're able to consecutively draw equipment. And uh, I showed this last night on the um, on the uh, last night's YouTube video. So if you haven't checked that out, go check that out in the link up here. Please, second book will be a god to put it there. Okay. Um, you're able to automatically uh, auto salvage equipment as you draw them and able to adjust the salvage settings beforehand with consecutive draw settings. So I don't know if we're getting the upgrade package. I think we're not. I think we're just getting the auto draw, auto salvage, and we're not getting the QL update yet where it increases the speed. That may have been a different update, and I may have just missed said that last night. So whatever. Um, but I'm assuming uh, they came around the same time, so that I just remember them being within like weeks of each other or like at the same time as each other. So I could have just been misremembering. I didn't have time to look up last night. Uh, the stat buff uh, applied on auto combat class. This stat buff will be applied in all battle contents. Oh, okay, okay. So what we're also getting is the combat class upgrade system for getting more HP. Uh, and we all get more increased stats on all of our characters. And I don't think they had mentioned this. Um, based on the total box combat class. So if you have been working on your account heavily, you're gonna get a flat HP buff. And the, uh, the actual amount I can go find on the Japanese version later, um, that I'll put it probably in the description of the time or in the comment section down below so you guys can see what that is um, as well. I don't know the exact list, but I'll, I'll find that for you. Um, there's also a new filter system, and you act, the filter system here will actually show you who has equipment on. And it'll show you what kind of equipment. So you can see here, the sword uh, will show you have an attack and defense set on these characters. Uh, and that's what they have all have, these attack and defense sets. Uh, apparently, they, they didn't think it was necessary to show an HP defense set. Um, that would have that been smart, Netmarble. Or like a triple defense set, that would have that been smart. Hopefully, that, I, don't, I don't know if they're going to do that. But that. That's what it is. The screenshot was taken from this test server. Oh, yay! Veronica's gone forever! Veronica buff improvements. Tavern guest. Veronica will arrive at a guest after clearing chapter 3, 25, Capital of the Dead. You can invite her to the tavern once a week for free, but you also get an ongoing buff. Veronica's buff will be applied at all times during after clearing chapter 7. Oh. So if you're a new player, you can you invite her once a week, but everyone who clears chapter 7 gets her forever. Oh. I didn't know that, actually. I, I had no idea. But uh, yeah. Veronica, you never have to summon her again. You basically just get a 20% gold buff forever. It's awesome. Okay. All you have to do is not sell it from your inventory. You just go to any vendor and you automatically have the Veronica buff. It'll say 20% every time you go. I've done it many a time. It's wonderful. Okay. The new bundles. There's going to be brand new bundles going to be bought to the game and main bundles. The Eve of 100 Day Celebration Event Bundle. The Weapon Researcher Costume Set. The Special Equipment Bundle. As well as the Diamond Step Up Bundles. Step 1 through 3. Oh, sick! Okay, so for here, if you're a big Hyland, this is a great pack for you. Because it's a, it's like diamonds. Uh, instead of BOGO diamonds, it's like diamonds times 2.5. So it's like 2.5 diamonds instead of like one times diamonds. it's like it's like 2.4 actually it's not even 2.5 it's like 2.4 times diamonds it's like a little bit more <laughs> they couldn't go to the 2.5 it was a little too much for them they're like yeah, we'll give you 2.4 times diamonds not 2.5 2.4 times diamonds it's something stupid i don't understand why they did it that way but whatever moving on um we have the discounted bundles a discount upgrade bundle discount evolution bundle one and two and uh there'll be discount enhancement bundles discount gold bundles equipment bundles and part one ssr hero bundles Interesting. I don't know what these bundles are. I haven't looked at them in a long time, but I'll have to go look it up. Um, the hundred day, uh, uh, the eve of hundred day celebration. I don't know what it is. Um, the weapon researcher costume set. I'm assuming it's the anniversary weapon sets for the anniversary costume. I don't actually know. Weapon researcher. I'll have to Google that. Oh, maybe that's Valenti. Maybe that's the Valenti's costume set. We'll have to look it up. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Um, miscellaneous upgrades. You're gonna, you can do bundles one and two at display changes. And before appear, appears for 24 hours and appear after appears for six hours. 
so confused by that. Uh, faster animation speed. Oh, wait, wait, no, that is here. It is here. We do get faster animation speeds when it has to be quick. Yep, yep, see, it was. I, I did not make a mistake, see? No, Marvel, it sh it, you know what it should have been? It should have been over here. But when, when you're doing, talking about equipment stuff, to put the equipment stuff together. But <laughs> that's not miscellaneous. That's equipment stuff. That's It should have been right here. Anyways, this is amazing. This is the best. Tap I like how you put it as a footnote for the thing we really care about, dude. Uh, Net Marvel, realize what we care about just a little more. We care about this shit. This shit is amazing. Thank you. Uh, we are getting it. Pog. Okay. Um... The animation speed when enhancing equipment or changing stats at one time will remain the same. So uh, again, it only works, uh, the speed increase only happens if you're doing multiple rolls. If you're just doing one roll, it'll stay the same slowness. So um, I do this on the Japanese version. It's the same on the JP version, so don't think that you're doing a shaft or anything like that. It's exactly the same. Um, changes to the default settings for consecutive, um, consecutive enhanced system. Cool. Uh, will add continue feature for main stages will consume three diamonds. Uh, what? Oh, so if you die on like a story mode stage, you can revive for three diamonds. I had no idea you could even do that. I, I have never wanted to once do that. Don't ever do that. Unless you're a big whale and you're lazy. <laughs> okay. Um, and we'll add clear tickets and uh, rewards to the daily tasks. Cool. Um, oh, the, oh, so these clear tickets that you can get, these are going to be, there's going to be different dailies that are going to be available now. The, they'll look different. They'll be in a different order. You, the normal middle menu session where you have to like go into the middle menu and the daily tasks and now then go down and select those two missions that you can get for gems, that's going away. And they're actually just moving those to the daily tasks. So they just move them into the correct spot. So you don't have to continuously look around for where the, all the missions are. So it's a lot easier to find all your dailies instead of, you'll actually get an extra two daily missions from this. It'll, it'll look like it'll be part of your daily missions. So that's a nice QL feature just so you can see everything better. Um, we'll fix this. The Japanese subtitle display in chapter 10 preview video. Wait, will fix? Will fix. Like, why are you saying they will? Add? Anyways, they, they, they did or I, I don't know. This is throwing me off. Um, will the day will move the daily player events to the daily section okay they, they they did this is just powerly translated into english whoever translates do you your google translator needs work bro <laughs> all right moving on we got uh, you can see the daily task window looks a little bit different there of course and then you can check through the quest and daily tasks okay knighthood boss battle uh Einic. it's going to be available on six seven after reset so we have another we have this whole week of the the guild boss that we're doing right now so this is the last week of the uh, season one guild boss for global and it's basically season two guild boss for jp but um so guys this is the last time you gotta switch all your gear to full defense for your gothers this is the last time the last hurrah that you'll need to do this for big celebration that we don't have to do that bullshit anymore and of course i'll put a unique video out like later this week so you'll be able to see it so don't worry about that all right ranking matches after six two after being it's cool how to participate cool must have a challenger tier after the festival fight reset okay so we we have to if you want to participate in the the ranking matches reveal after the 16 maintenance you have to be in challenger um after the reset until like sometime before next week i'm guessing sometime before next reset you have to be challenger okay also able to participate in challenger tier while the ranking matches are in progress yes um so this is so way this is is if you want to do challenger matches and just grind coins and challenger do that all day long you can just grind coins and challenger and then when you want to do your actual placement matches you go back into the placement matches and then you'd use your real food you don't use coin food there use real food there use uh, wine food use alt food whatever fucking food you want to push your ranking okay but everyone and their grandma should be using coin food in challenger if you're not using coin food in challenger you are playing the game incorrectly and you're you're doing it wrong you get nothing out of it you literally get nothing so the fo the few of you who are you not using coin food in challenger uh there's a t-shirt i sell that's called real man with coin food you should probably buy that because you know you're not a real man unless you buy that shirt <laughs> just playing with you all right all right challenger tier um Players are only able to acquire festival points in a ranking matches. Cool. Uh, go to the festival fight score change info. I will go to there in just a second. Uh, festival points will be reset to 4,000 when doing the ranking match calculations. So basically what this says is once you get the challenger, you stay in challenger. You can't derank from challenger anymore. You just stay there. You get infinity matches in challenger. You'll never fall out of challenger. You'll go up in challenger. You'll stay at 4,000. And there's no point in using any other food but coin food. 
because you're farming coins so that you can continuously do other things. So if you wanted to place in top 100, you do the top 100 PvP there. Okay, um, your placement will be based on your acquired festival points right before the ranking matches end. Cool. Um, is this the festival points? So this is the, this is actually coins. Is this is your replacements based on the coins you have in your account? It's hilarious. Imagine if that was true. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. But maybe I'm reading that wrong. Anyways, moving on. Uh, reward will be sent to your inbox after the festival fight reset. Pog. The top 100 will receive rewards based on their placement. Pog. Uh, those who do not receive in the top 100 will receive challenger tier rewards. Pog. Okay. Miscellaneous. The top 100 players will not be lowered from challenger tier for the rest of the calculations. So if you hit top 100, you never have to hit top 100 for, again for the next like four, three, four weeks or whatever. I don't know. Those who do not enter the top 100 will reset to champion one after the reset. Okay. Balance adjustments. Hero skills with a single target buff. Oh, they're adding cleanse. Okay, so they have changed cleanse. There is a major change here. This is a major change that is being added here. Okay, hero skills with a single target buff removal have been adjusted so that rank one versions carry the effect as well. So if you have a cleanse ability, before it was deal 220% attack to one enemy and the rank two of it was an increased damage and a cleanse. Now it's a rank one cleanse. So now green SSR Liz now has a single target cleanse on rank one. Fucked up, right? <laughs> what the fuck, really? It's fucked up, right? <laughs> Uh, removes buffs from the enemy and and does the same amount of damage the characters that are affected are leonis princess guardian elizabeth gila punishing strike uh it's a green elizabeth red gila um green uh, is, that a, is it green dreyfus or red dreyfus i think it's green dreyfus green dreyfus maybe i don't know actually one of the dreyfus um then there's ruin and rimuru tempest so that's blue rimuru wait what was it no it's green rimuru Green SR S Rimuru. Green SR Rimuru. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't read that correctly. All right. Adjusted skills with the Ruin effect. Okay, so this is a buff to Green King as well as Dogetto. Ruin is the ability to increase your damage based on the debuffs that are on a target. So a character like, say, Red Slater that puts five debuffs on a target, you can then use another character like Green King and then use that character to do massive damage to that target. So if you wanted to run a cheese-ass PvP comp, Kabuki! <coughs> Kabuki and Seton! <coughs> Whoever does it first! Um, you can run a Red Slater as well as a green SSR King in order to just try to one-tap somebody with a 5 debuff slot and then using a green King to go bop. So if you want to do that, go for it. Um, after Ruin, is going to do 30% per, per debuff. So uh, it, before it was only 20, now it's 30. So it's really similar to the way Amplify works. So uh, if you wanted to do that, the debuffs disappear after uh, after you're done with that. So just, just letting you know. Um, so... Hazel has to go, high 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 garden is gone, and then we're gonna do the poison garden. <laughs> okay, uh, skill description effects. The effects themselves have not changed, but the descriptions have been adjusted. Detonation, stance cancel, recovery, and remove debuff, and evade. Uh, there have been skill description edits to these, so make sure we all look at the detonation, stance cancel, recovery, and debuff mode, and evade. Thank you. So this is the entirety of the patch notes, really pog. So the things I am most looking forward to, of course, uh, are the uh, enhancement stuff that we get here, the amazing Equipment Draw Salvage event, that's gonna be really fun. And what's really gonna be fun to see is the top 100 plays. I'm really curious about um, what people are gonna do in top 100 now, now that they can't just grind whore forever to be top 100. It's gonna be really fun to see how people are gonna be smart about their teams, how they're gonna be very, very efficient to figure out how they can get coin food, how they can win with wine food so they can get max progression, things like that. Cause you only get a certain amount of matches in these things and that's gonna be very interesting to see. So I'm super curious um, on how everyone's gonna be handling this. I'm, I wonder if people are going to be pushing super, super hard um, with different teams because you won't be able to do ult rush teams. You won't be able to use attack food as much. You could try, but you may not be able to progress as hard. It's going to be really interesting to see what people do. And now people are going to have to um, work around. Can they use evade food? They're going to use resistance food. Like, are they going to be doing different strategies? Are they going to stay with the same strategy? That is a really interesting thing for me. I'm really curious to see what they're going to do there. Personally, those are the most exciting things to PvP me, because right now the PvP metal to me is really stale and I'm not really enjoying it as much. But the thing, of course, I'm most excited for is, you know, Valenti and all that stuff, yeah. So guys, since Valenti's coming tomorrow, I'm pulling 6 a.m. Hella pulls, yeah. <laughs> I am, I'm going multiple rotations on that banner, for sure. I, I am going to whale for Valenti, for sure. 
Valenti is awesome. If you don't think so, it's okay. You don't have to pull for her. Don't just don't, don't just don't pull for her. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I swear. Blue Gmail is the best, right? Mm. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys didn't enjoy the video, of course, like and subscribe, all the fun stuff, and you guys have a great rest of your day.